Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys. This vehicle features a 2-liter inline-four engine with four-wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax, and this vehicle has had three previous owners. As we get closer to the front of this vehicle, you'll be able to see that it is a sleek, bright white clear coat with chrome and black accents, as you'll be able to see there on the grill, as well as down around those tow hooks and fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather, and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side and take a look at your tires and wheels. This vehicle features black 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, and as for your tire tread, you have got a good amount of life left in them, but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabinet air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. I'd also like to point out you do have heated mirrors with this vehicle, so that'll help to prevent them from fogging up as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. And we'll still come along here to the side and take a look at your handle because you might notice you do have a little rectangle there. That is your passive keyless entry and passive keyless entry is really handy. Basically, if your vehicle's locked, you'll be able to get into it without having to take your keys out of your pocket or your purse. The last thing I would like to mention before we take a look to the inside of the vehicle is that you do have lovely black running boards along the bottom to help you get in and out with ease. We'll now take a look to the inside of the vehicle. Here on the inside of the vehicle, you do have these lovely black cloth upholstery on your seating. And we'll just take a look in the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here on this inspection form, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have got 15, 30 seconds in all of your tires, so tons of life left in them. And as for your brake heads, you have 12, 30 seconds in both the front and the rear. So you have a long way to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. I'd also like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get the owner's manual. So if you have any questions after you buy it, you'll be able to look them up in there. We'll now continue around to for your occupant seating. As you'll be able to see here in the rear occupant seating, this vehicle does seat a total of five people. And I'd also like to point out that you do have powered windows for these rear occupants as well as cup holders and pockets on the backs of both of those front seats. You also have carpeted floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. We'll take a look over here at these doors because you do have pockets in all of them. So if you need to put anything in there, you'll be able to. We'll now continue around to the rear of the vehicle. As we're making our way back, I do want to mention that this vehicle does have a track lock limited slip rear differential. And we'll now take a look to the rear of the vehicle. Here at the rear of the vehicle, you'll be able to see that classic Jeep spare tire on the back, as well as a backup camera to help you whenever you are parking or going in reverse. And you've also got a tow hook down there if you're ever in a pinch. I'm gonna just open the back up so you'll be able to see how much space you have. You have got a fair amount of space back here, enough for some suitcases or some groceries. And those seats in front do fold down to give you even more space. You also have top and bottom anchor tether points on the bottoms of those seats if you have little ones who need car seats. And I'd also like to mention that this vehicle does have Alpine stereo speakers to make for some really nice sounds. Underneath the floorboards, you do have a space to store things like tools or anything else you might want to put in there. And I'll just close this back right up and we'll continue around to the driver's side. This vehicle does have two keys for your convenience and to help prevent you from ever getting locked out. And you also have remote start with both of them as well. This vehicle also has powered door locks as well as powered mirrors. And as for the driver's seat, you do have six way directional manual seating adjustments so you can move your seat forwards, backwards, up, down, and then tilting the seat forward and back. You also have a telescopic steering wheel meaning you can push it in and out as well as up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel, you do have your headlight controls as well as your dashboard backlight controls. I'm now just get in the vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle is push to start. Now that the engine's running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 10,921 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel because over here you do have your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Right to the right of those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have your Bluetooth and call controls as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. 
and then to the right side of the steering wheel you do have your cruise control buttons. We'll now take a look to the center of the vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle you do have a lovely touchscreen LCD display. And this vehicle also has heated front driver's seat, a front passenger seat, and a heated steering wheel. I'll just do this Jeep in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. Right underneath that display you do have your climate controls and you can manually touch these buttons as well instead of using the screen. Right underneath that you can see several features this vehicle provides such as your traction control and hill descent control. A bit farther down you do have a power outlet here, USB charging ports and an aux cord plug in there, and then all your power window controls here in the center. You have your four wheel drive shift here, main gear shift there, parking brake, two cup holders, and then you do have your main storage compartment here with a USB charging port. Lastly, we'll take a look up because in classic Jeep Wrangler fashion, those tops do come off quite easily. And you also have a built-in garage door opener with this vehicle. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. In the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned. So we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle and to make the purchasing process as transparent and straightforward as we possibly can. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, nothing is really standing out to me. So we'll move along to the outside. We'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections. And we'll make our way around here to the front. Here on the front, you do have a little bit of staining, but that black plastic is doing a very good job of protecting that paint from anything like gravel or stone chips from flinging up and onto the hood. We'll continue around now to the passenger side. You do have some very, very small nicks here on that front passenger door. Some very, very minor scuffs on that black plastic. We'll come along here to the rear of the vehicle. Now typically on a lot of SUVs, where I tend to see several nicks and scratches is where the tailgate meets the bumper as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. But as I look here, that is not the case for this vehicle. It seems to be in very good condition. You do have a little bit of staining here, but other than that, I cannot see anything more. So we'll close this back up and continue back around to the driver's side. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a small white SUV with the ability to seat five, fold down seats with a good amount of space in the rear, a spare tire, backup camera, hardcover top, black running boards, alpine stereo system, carpeted floor mats, passive keyless entry, track lock, limited slip rear differential, remote start, two keys, heated steering wheel and front seats, and four wheel drive, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this small SUV and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.